Okay, so we've waited long enough to make a video about this topic. Let's go over to the Edmonton Oilers and discuss probably the biggest and the baddest and the best defenseman in the NHL right now. Okay, maybe two of those adjectives don't really work to describe this guy, but we're talking today about the top score amongst all D-men on the San Jose Sharks and whether or not he could get traded to Edmonton because apparently they want him. Eric Carlson. We've made a few videos over the past few days, few weeks, pretty much, just talking about Carlson and the reign that he has this season, just the overall productivity of his game ever since the departure of Brent Burns from San Jose. Carlson has really taken a step back into a time machine. He is back on his throne as the king of offensive defensemen, as in this season's worth of play, if we pull up his Elite Prospects page, because unfortunately I did not have this up before starting the video out. Carlson is at 37 points in 30 games played. Still on pace for 100 points if he goes out there and he accomplishes that. That would be a career high. He has not dominated the league this much since he was pretty much the best defenseman on planet Earth a few years ago with the Ottawa Senators. But according to a report we had seen out of TSN, we had ourselves a video report where Darren Dreger said that the Oilers are potentially involved in this discussion. Take a look at this article on tsn.ca, Insider Trading, the Oilers are looking for defensive help. This was published earlier in the week on December 6th, and linked is a video segment of the TSN broadcast where Darren Dreger says what exactly it is that he says. Luckily for us, there is a transcription of the audio on this same link, so you can go ahead and read along if you want to watch and read at the same time. But Darren Dreger says, speaking of details surrounding the Edmonton Oilers, what we know is that defense is an area of concern for the team. It was going into the season, and it continues to be. The Oilers need a top defenseman. Now, do they get wild and crazy and try to swing for the fences and try to get in on Eric Carlson? It seems impossible they could do that, but there is some around the organization with interest. The problem is that their key veteran defensemen and Darnell Nurse and Cody Ceci are playing too much, and their younger guys like Bouchard and Broberg aren't quite ready yet. As we saw, Bouchard was benched in the 3-2 loss against the Capitals on Monday. So defense is the top priority for GM Ken Holland. With this report, it's pretty much established that apparently there are some people in the Oilers organization that want to get Carlson. Furthermore, we had ourselves this article published on the Edmonton Journal by David Staples the next day as to whether or not the Eric Carlson to Edmonton trade rumors make sense for the team. Take a look at what's written about right here. This seems like a long shot for the Oilers, but Dreger is a credible source for this kind of rumor to put some weight on it. No doubt someone in or around the Oilers has told him of such interest. There is a write-up about whether or not Carlson and his four years left at 11.5 AAV at 32 years old at the moment is really worth it for Edmonton because they're pressed up against the cap. The Sharks are a rebuilding team, and so there's going to be some concern as to whether or not the timeline aligns here. But another thought here by Staples says that, hey, the Oilers are kind of in the midst of their McDavid dry saddle window, and they have veterans in their peaks right now with Kane, Hyman, and Nugent Hopkins. It is the right moment for Edmonton to consider such a blockbuster trade. That said, when it comes to what a trade should actually look like, for San Jose to eat half his salary, $5.75 this year and four more, Edmonton will have to give up some good prospects and players. Edmonton will have to move out Tyson Berry at 4.5, and one of the $3 million wingers in Paul Yarvi, Fogel, or Yamamoto. For San Jose to carry the load of half of Carlson's cap hit, I suspect Edmonton would have to include at least one young player and two first-round picks. The deal might be, and I must be guessing here, Barry, Pulley, two first-round picks that are lottery-protected, and one of Broberg or Holloway, with San Jose eating that huge dollop of cap space. The rest of the piece goes into a debate as to whether or not this actually makes sense for both teams, if Carlson really is the right guy for Edmonton to go out there and consider, and whether or not San Jose would see enough value in the assets coming back to make things work. Now, just a few days ago, we did make a video talking about Jesse Pugliarvi and the conversation he had with the Finnish journalism platform, wherein he talked about how he really doesn't know if his future hockey playing career is really going to be in Edmonton and whether or not this is actually worth it for him to stick around because he's really doubting his ability to contribute offensively at the National Hockey League level. 
So if you're trading him away to a team like San Jose, for example, where he'll probably get a lot more minutes and a lot more, let's say, of a stage comparative to where he is in Edmonton right now, this might be a pretty good revival sort of situation for Pugliarvi if you think that he can excel in a system like San Jose's alongside of some pretty creative players, let's say Thomas Bordalo in the future. You, of course, have William Eklund, who is going to be there too. But in regards to the Oilers, Staples actually writes here that in his opinion, a guy like Edmondson, for example, a solid and tough defender, would probably feel like a better fit at a better price because Carlson may not necessarily be what the Oilers need. He is really good offensively, but that kind of shuts the door out on Bouchard, and you could very well debate that they kind of need a gritty, tough veteran D-man more so than an offensive guy like Carlson. But with this entire idea in a rearview mirror, what I wanted to do was refer you to the Oilers Nation Everyday podcast and their most recent episode because they had themselves Frank Saravelli joining the show. Interestingly enough, though, Saravelli had a conversation with the team about these Eric Carlson trade rumors. We're going over onto OilersNation.com and reading what it was that Saravelli said regarding Edmonton and Eric, because he pretty much goes out there and shuts this entire thing down. Daily Faceoffs, Frank Saravelli says the Oilers may not actually be interested in the defenseman. Upon joining Oilers Nation's very own Tyler Yeramchuk on Oilers Nation Every Day, he had this to say. These are illegitimate rumors, near as I can tell them. Not to rain on anyone's parade, and certainly not to call into question some reporting from Darren Drager on Insider Trading, a friend of mine, but in this case, near as I can tell, the Sharks internally, this seems to be news to them that the Oilers would potentially be interested in Carlson. What's interesting, Jay, listening to you talk about it, is I don't think you have a super firm grasp on how tough that contract is to move. Because if the Sharks are retaining any bit of it, they're not going to get much in return. If they're not returning any of it, they're not getting anything in return. The way it was framed to me today when I asked about this deal was, okay, let's say from an Oilers perspective, this was a who says no proposition that was put to me. It was Pulley in exchange for Carlson and the Sharks retaining 50%. And I said, okay, who says no? The answer was, the Oilers say no. And so, contrary to Staples' article on the Edmonton Journal a few days ago, discussing whether or not a Carlson to Edmonton trade could look like Carlson for Pulley Barry, and a prospect, and a pick, and everything... According to Saravelli, if you put the two side by side, just one for one, Pulley RV for Carlson, 50% retained on Eric, no take back sees or whatever, apparently the Oilers themselves would be the team that says no, they would not want to do that, let alone add on a defenseman like Barry or a prospect like Dylan Holloway. The Oilers Nation crew then asked Saravelli why would the Oilers say no? This is what he added. They still have to pay Bouchard, and maybe right now he's obviously not as good, but he showed something last year to the point that they might have a million dollar version of Eric Carlson right now that is going to get in the way of anything in the future. Not saying at all they're the same person, but I am saying that if Eric Carlson makes 11.5 and Bouchard makes under 1, and obviously he needs a bigger race to get his next deal, but as a 43-point defenseman who does not have the injury history Eric Carlson has, he doesn't have any term at the moment, and a lot of other baggage that comes with it, which is also, by the way, would include Eric Carlson waiving his full no-trade clause to come to Edmonton, which I think is a hard enough sell as it is. Maybe they're better off maintaining the assets they have, re-signing Bouchard, and seeing him take the next step in his career than having Carlson moving forward. And that's a really fair perspective to go out there and bring up how Eric Carlson is really talented, we know that. He's been really good this season, but he's still so expensive and old that if you really wanted to trust a guy like Evan Bouchard to develop into the best version that he can, a guy like Eric Carlson kind of prohibits that. And if you wanted to say, okay, we believe that Bouchard can be this good, you might as well just keep him around rather than hold him off by acquiring a guy like Eric Carlson, taking on a lot of money, and just hope instead that Bouchard becomes a Carlson light while making a fraction of the cost in the process. And so at the end of the day, it's a really interesting idea, but it was shut down earlier by Frank Saravelli on Daily Faceoff from the Oilers Nation podcast. So I will leave a link in the description to everything that we had looked at here, the TSN video, the Edmonton Journal article, as well as the OilersNation.com article article with the Saravelli transcription, because it is quite interesting just to see where everything's going here with this Eric Carlson to Edmonton trade rumor. 
So thoughts in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on this Oilers Carlson thing? I hope you enjoyed this video. Rolls 99. And bye.